I won't get in some more chairs for him. Um, yes. He's here? He's here. She is not here. So when we get to that, you're just going to have to add Lib. So who's going to present Mark him? Johnson. Just whoever I see over here. Does he Pardon me? I have not seen him. Okay. So those two we may have to Hey, you guys can talk. We have about seven minutes before we start. Okay. So when you see their names, so we'll just have to kind of like while we're sitting there presenting a word. She's not here, so. Just have, have it. Whoever I see. Yeah, about whoever you want. Just pick? Yeah, just pick us, just name us.
At this time, please silence electronic devices for the duration of the program. During the awards presentation, please hold your applause until all names for that award have been called. Parents, please feel free to move forward and take pictures of your cadets. The ceremony will begin in three minutes.
afternoon and welcome. I am Major Paige Turner, the Blaze Battalion Executive Officer. Please rise and come to, to the position of attention for the presentation of colors and the singing of the national anthem by cadets Caden Schaffner and Rai Alvarob. Battalion, take seats. Today we are pleased to have several special guests. Mr. Justin Smith, Principal of Blackman High School. Sergeant First Class Chad Adams and Staff Sergeant Mark Large, Tennessee Army National Guard recruiters. Staff Sergeant Adam Kinley, U.S. Army active duty recruiter. Staff Sergeant Benson, U.S. Marine Corps recruiter. The Honorable Colonel Mark E. Young, Stones River Chapter, Tennessee Society, and Sons of American Revolution. Command Sergeant Major Tim Johnson, Second Vice President, AU, AUSA, Fort Campbell Chapter. Sergeant Glenn Smiley, U, United States Air Force, and Colonel Russ Mozzi, United States Army, the American Legion. Mr. Andrew Farr, Commander of Veterans of Foreign Wars, Stones River Post 12206, a recipient of the Purple Heart and representing the Military Order of the Purple Heart Association. Ms. Charlie Phillips, President, General John Coffey Chapter, the United States Daughters of 1812. Ms. Elaine Alexander, Regent, Colonel Hardy Murphy Chapter, the National Society of Daughters of the American Revolution. Mr. Robert Moreland, Military Officers Association of America. Mr. John Bouch, Recruiting Operations Officer, v Vanderbilt Army ROTC. Give them a round of applause. I will be followed by our battalion commander. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Caden Schaffner, the battalion commander 
for the Blackman High School Blaze Battalion. On behalf of the JRTC, Corps of Cadets, and the cadre, Colonel Jeffrey Gaylord, Chief Eric Hopper, and First Sergeant James Hart, I would like to welcome you to Blackman's 24th Annual JRTC Awards Day Program. This day is a very special day as we recognize the hard work of all of our cadets and as we excelled academically and demonstrated a high degree of leadership. I will now pass it over the program back over to Major Turner. <laughs> As I announce each award, the recipient and or recipients please come forward for the award presentation. We will pause after each presentation for photo opportunities. Please hold your applause until all names have been called. The Daughters of the American Revolution Medal is presented annually to an outstanding cadet in JRTC. The student must be in the top 25% of their class in JRTC in academic subjects. The student must also have demonstrated dependability, good character, leadership, adherence to military discipline, and a fundamental and patriotic understanding of the importance of junior ROTC training. This award is presented by Ms. Elaine Alexander. This year's recipient is Cadet Peyton R. Holzai. Scholastic Excellence Medal is awarded annually to a LET 3 or 4 cadet ranking in the top 10% of his or her classes and the top 25% of their JRTC subjects. He or she must demonstrate leadership qualities and actively participate in student-related activities, constructive activities, or sports. The award is presented today by American Legion Post 141 members Sergeant Smiley and Colonel er, Mr. Russ Mosey. <laughs> this year's recipient is Cadet Emily A. Haight. Military Excellence Medal is awarded annually to a LET 3 or 4 cadet in the top 25% of his or her academic class and must have demonstrated outstanding qualities of military leadership, discipline, character, and citizenship. Sergeant Smiley and Mr. Mazi also present this award. This year's recipient is Cadet Rosemead D. Sandia Quintero. The National Sojourners Medal is awarded annually to a LET 2 or LET 3 cadet. The recipient must be in the top 25% of his or her class, have encouraged and demonstrated the ideals of Americanism by deed or conduct or both, and have demonstrated potential for outstanding leadership. The award is presented by Chief Hopper. This year's recipient is Cadet Jessica P. Shuck.
Reserve Officer Association Medal is an annual award presented to a cadet who is in the top 10% of his or her JRTC class and in the top one-third of his or her academic class. The selected cadet must have demonstrated outstanding qualities of leadership and moral courage. This award will be presented by First Sergeant Hart. This year's recipient is Cadet Jonathan R. Pryor. The Daughters of the American Colonist Medal is awarded annually to a Let One cadet who displays ethical character, patriotism, and good citizenship. He or she must have demonstrated a strong sense of urgency to live and work cooperatively with others. The award is presented today by Colonel Jeffrey Gaylord. Maybe? Maybe? By First Sergeant Hart. This year's recipient is Cadet Sidney A. Bess. The Sons of the American Revolution Medal is awarded annually to a cadet who must be in good standing militarily and scholastically at the time of selection. The cadet must also demonstrate a high degree of merit for leadership qualities, bearing, and excellence. This award is presented today by First Sergeant Hart. This year's recipient is Cadet Braden O'Hill. The awards presented by Colonel Mark E. Young. The Sons of Confederate Veterans H.L. Hunley Award. On behalf of the Sons of Confederate Veterans and Murfreesboro Camp Number 33, the JRTC H.L. Hunley Award is pre presented to the cadet who most demonstrates the core values, honor, courage, and commitment to the Blaze Battalion during the 2023-2024 school year. 
These were the same values exhibited by the last crew of the Hunley who courageously made the commitment to honorably risk and ultimately give their lives in defense of their country and the city of Charleston after two crews had already suffered tremendous loss in previous training exercises. This award is presented today by Colonel Mark Young. This year's recipient is Cadet Kaylin J. Rice. The Military Order of the Purple Heart Medal is awarded annually to a LET-2 or LET-3 cadet who is in good standing in all military and scholastic aspects, have a positive attitude towards JRTC and country, hold a leadership position in the cadet corps, active in school and community affairs. The award is presented by Mr. Andrew Farrer. This year's recipient is Cadet Ali K. Giroux. The Veteran of Foreign Wars Medal is an annual award presented to a LET 2, 3, or 4 cadet who is in good standing in all military and scholastic aspects. The cadet must display outstanding military bearing, patriotism, and courtesy, and be capable of higher leadership responsibilities. The cadet must also be in the top 10% of their JRTC class, active in at least one other student extracurricular activity, and not have previously received the award. The award is presented today by Commander Andrew Farrar. This year's recipient is Cadet Nashari J. Butler. This past year, the Blaze Battalion participated in the Veterans of Foreign Wars Voice of Democracy Contest. Cadets submitted essays and were judged by the leadership of the VFW Post 12206. Today we are pleased to announce the first, second, and third place winners for LET Levels 3 and 4. The certificates and medals are being presented by Commander.
second place, Raya A. Albarog. Place, Ahmad Razak. Let four, third place, Hannah N. Nelson. Second place, Voice of Democracy, let four, Candace M. Schaffner. Voice of Democracy, first place, Paige A. Turner. Stand by. Cadet. Paige Turner's essay was forwarded up to our district for competition in the state. She placed third for our district and she is receiving a certificate and a medallion to represent her hard work and dedication. Paige A. Turner. of the United States Army Junior ROTC Medal is awarded annually to a LET-3 cadet who is in good standing in all military and scholastic aspects, be of high moral character and loyalty to his or her unit, school, and country, show exceptional potential for military leadership, this award is being presented by Command Sergeant Major Retired Tim Johnson. This year's recipient is Cadet Jared C. Garner. <laughs> Thank you. 
accepted Scottish Right of Freemasonry medal is awarded to a let two or three cadet who is in the top 25% of their class, has demonstrated a potential for outstanding leadership by ex exhibiting qualities of dependability, good character, self-discipline, good citizenship, and patriotism, has contributed, contributed the most among cadets on campus to encourage and demonstrate patriotism by deeds or conduct during participation in extracurricular activities or community projects. Colonel Gaylord presents the award. This year's recipient is Cadet Sarah M. Bowers. The National Society of United States Daughters of 1812 JRTC Medal is awarded to a cadet who has demonstrated qualities of academic excellence, leadership, military discipline, dependability, patriotism, and upright character in speech and habits, which exemplify the ideals upon which our nation was founded. This award is presented today by Ms. Charlene Phillips, President of the Brigadier General Coffee Chapter of the National Society of the United States Daughters of 1812. This year's recipient is Cadet Sophia R. Commodore. The Celebrate Freedom Foundation Medal is presented annually to an outstanding Let 2 or Let 3 cadet. The cadet must be in the top 15% of their academic class and ranked in the top 5% of their ROTC class. The cadet must also possess a positive attitude, an outstanding personal appearance, and display personal attributes such as initiative, judgment, and self-confidence. The award is presented by Chief Hopper. This year's recipient is Cadet Joseph A. Hill. The Military Order of Foreign Wars of the United States Medal is awarded annually to a Let 3 or Let 4 cadet in recognition of academic excellence, outstanding leadership, loyalty to the program and school, and devotion to duty. This award is presented by Chief Hopper. This year's recipient is Cadet Onyx R. Crittenden. Oh, he's not ready. 
The Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War JRTC Medal is awarded to a deserving cadet who has demonstrated the qualities of honor, courage, and commitment to his or her unit throughout the school year. This award is presented by Mr. Justin Smith, Principal of Blackman High School. This year's recipient is Cadet Jose Egana Perez. The American Veterans JRTC Medal is awarded to a cadet who has demonstrated a positive attitude toward JRTC, a neat appearance, and personal attributes. This cadet must have demonstrated diligence in the discharge of their duties and is in good standing in all areas of his scholastic and JRTC responsibilities. The AMVETS, AMVETS JRTC Award is presented by Mr. Andrew Farr. This year's recipient is Cadet Aiden P. Hollingsworth. The Order of the Dalians was organized by World War I military pilots who sought to per perpetuate the spirit of patriotism, love of country, and those high ideals of self-sacrifice that place service to the nation above personal safety and position. The Dedalian Award is presented to the outstanding cadet who embodies patriotism and love of country, who desires to serve our nation through the pursuit of a military career, who ranks in the top 20% of their high school class, and who ranks in the upper 10% of their JRTC class. The Dedalian JRTC Medal is presented by Chief Hopper. This year's recipient is Cadet Sheridan M. Balagoni. The NCO of the Year Award is given in conjunction to the, with the Non-Commissioned Officers Association Medal and JROTC Ribbon. This award annually is presented to the most outstanding cadet non-commissioned officer during the past year. The cadet NCO must have consistently exhibited the best military bearing, personal appearance, deportment, and leadership ability. It is awarded annually to the cadet for having won NCO of the Year cadet board competition. The cadet will receive cert a certificate NCOA medal set, ARC, and leadership ribbon. At this time, would all quarterly board winners please come forward? 
First quarter, Cadet Darian Zong. Second quarter, Cadet Sheridan M. Balagoni. Third quarter, Cadet Catherine E. Wolvington. And fourth quarter, Cadet Savon Fontecu. First Sergeant Hart and Cadet Command Sergeant Major Benita Zartola will now present each of these cadets with the NCO of the Quarter Certificates. Now for the Cadet Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year presentation. This year's board was extremely competitive, with only a few points separating the top candidates. The Non-Commissioned Officers Association Award recipient and the Blackman Blaze Battalion's NCO of the Year for the school year 2023-2024 is Cadet Darian Zong. The Cadet of the Year Award is given in conjunction with the Military Officers Association of America Award Medal and Jerry to see ribbons. It is awarded annually to the Let One Cadet for having won the Cadet of the Year Board competition. The Cadet must have won a Cadet of the Quarter competition to qualify for the end of year board. Each Cadet will receive a certificate. At this time, would all quarterly board winners please come forward to center stage. First quarter, Cadet Johnny J. Sabaton, Jr. Second quarter, Cadet Kirsten Gabriel Z. Espino. Third quarter, Cadet Jonathan R. Pryor. And fourth quarter, Cadet Bailey M. Williams. Mr. Robert Moreland and Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Schaffner will now present each of these cadets with Cadet of the Quarter Certificates, which they already did. As with the NCO board, this year's cadet board was highly competitive. Now for the Cadet of the Year presentation. The Military Officers Association of America is presented today by Mr. Robert Moreland and Mr. Jim Mapes. Stones River Chapter of MOAA, Membership Chairman, the award recipient and the Blaze Battalion's Cadet of the Year for school year 2023-2024 is Cadet Johnny J. Sabaton Jr. The Department of the Army Superior Cadet Award is an annual award presented to the most outstanding cadet in each let level, let ones, two, three, and four. This award is based on their overall academic and JRTC cadet achievements. The award will be presented by Colonel Gaylord and Mr. Justin Smith. As your name is called, please come to receive your certificate and medal. 
This year's reci recipients are Let One, Cadet Johnny J. Sabaton Jr. Let Two, Cadet Brody I. Warren. Let three, Cadet Catherine M. Varela. And let four, Cadet Luis A. Benitez Artola. The Tennessee Army National Guard Leadership Awards are presented to outstanding cadet leaders. These cadets must have demonstrated outstanding leadership and fellowship skills daily, as well as representing the core values of the JRTC program, which is to motivate young people to be better citizens. These awards are presented by Sergeant First Class Adams and Staff Sergeant Large, Tennessee Army National Guard recruiters. As your name is called, please come forward to receive your award. This year's awards go to the following cadets. Phoebe M. Benton. Please hold your applause until all names have been called. <laughs> Jared C. Garner. Onyx R. Crittenden. Zion M. Mitchell. Robert S. Mosley. Ali L. Drew, And Luis A. Benitez Artola.
Army Enlistment Awards, sashes, 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 wow, and tassels are being presented to the cadets who have enlisted in the U.S. Army for active duty. Presented by Staff Sergeant Kinley. The following cadets please come forward. Jason Apentang, Kendall Hostetler, and Caden Schaffner. you dropping things? <laughs> The Marine Corps takes pride in recognizing students who have committed themselves to fighting and winning for our nation. The following cadets have enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps and will be shipping off to recruit training this summer to earn the title of a Marine. Would Bryce Hetland, Hunter Cochran, and Sammy Rodriguez please stand up to be recognized? The commitment that these students have made will ensure that we live in freedom, now and in the future, in the greatest nation on earth. Let's get a group picture. Yeah, one more round of applause. Award for top male and female cadet for the school year 2023 to 2024. This award is is awarded to cadets with the best overall male and female cadet challenge average for the year. As your name is called, please come forward to receive your certificate, medal, and medallion from Chief Hopper and First Sergeant Hart. This year's best male and female cadets are Levi J. Colon and Phoebe M. Benton. Instructor Leadership Award is awarded annually to one cadet in each LET level who demonstrated outstanding leadership in the performance of their JRTC duties and responsibilities. These cadets have continued to maintain only the highest standards of performance and set an example for others to follow. They will receive a certificate from the Senior Army Instructor and will be awarded the SAI Leadership Ribbon. This award is presented by Colonel Gaylord and Chief Hopper. Please come forward when your name is called. Johnny J. Sabaton, Jr. Atticus Stanulis, Gwendolyn R. Hill, and Paige A. Turner.
academic performance is awarded annually to the cadets who achieve an A in all of their classes for the academic year. This award is presented by Mr. Justin Smith and Colonel Gaylord. Please come forward when your name is called. Please hold your applause until all have been called. Let one, Payen R. Holzai, Johnny J. Sabaton, Jr., Sari S. Cogwa, Fino, I'm so sorry. Let two, Sarah M. Bowers, Joseph A. Hill, Sebastian R. Smith, Brody I. Warren. Let three, Ali K. Giroux, Everett C. Whittington, Alexander G. Costales, Gwendolyn R. Hill, Savannah L. Mejia, Christine L. Wolvington, Angelina Lara, Leandro D. Quintanilla, Ahmad Razak, Jessica P. Shuck. And let four, Miranda Isidro, Paige A. Turner, and Annabelle T. Wooten. Benchmark is awarded annually to the cadets who achieve the benchmark of 21 minimum on the ACT. They will receive a certificate and the ACT benchmark ribbon. This award is presented by Mr. Justin Smith and Colonel Gaylord. Please come forward when your name is called. This year's recipients are Michael R. Pritchard, Cadence M. Schroffner, Paige A. Turner, Luis A. Benitez Artola, Nashari J. Butler, Kenny A. Briggs, Raya A. Alborob, Hannah N. Nelson, William H. Jenkins, Sheridan M. Balagoni, Hudson R. McNeil, Gwendolyn R. Hill, Thomas Y. Buchanan, Bryce T. Helton, Everett C. Whittington, Emily A. Haight, Dylan C. Malavi, Tobias A. Commodore, Levi J. Colin, Jackson C. Sohar, Valerie M. Wollers, Jessica P. Shupp, Ahmad Razak, Alexander G. Costales, Ali K. Giroux, Ellie A. Sugden-Kundar, Fatima Flores, Jared C. Garner, 
Joseph A. Espy, Savannah L. Mejia, James E. Olexi, Lucas H. Dobbinsbeck, Jameson C. Smith, and Christine Wolverton.
Academic excellence is awarded annually to the, to the cadets exhibiting the highest degree of academic ex excellence in their light level. They will receive a certificate and the academic excellence ribbon. This award is presented by Mr. Justin Smith and Colonel Gaylord. Please come forward when your name is called. Let one, Peyton R. Holzai. Let two, Sebastian R. Smith. Let three, Ahmad Razak. And let four, Miranda Isidra. Everybody having fun so far? All right, next award, Distinguished Cadet Award, N-1-1 ribbon, is awarded annually to one cadet who exhibits the highest degree of excellence in scholastics. He or she will receive a certificate in the Distinguished Cadet Award ribbon for scholastics. This award is presented by Mr. Smith, and Chief Hopper. This year's recipient is Cadet Miranda Isidro. She cannot be here today. She is sick. So we just want to hold. She's on YouTube. Hey! All right. Next, the Blaze Battalion Graduation Honor Court. The JRTC cadre are pleased to present the JRTC graduation honor cord, which is worn at graduation. It is earned by all cadets who have completed all four years of JRTC and have obtained a cumulative GPA minimum of 3.5 or higher in high school. The cords end will be presented by Mr. Smith and First Sergeant Hart. As I call your name, Please come forward and form a line. This line is rather long. Please be in order. Cadet Luis A. Benitez Artola. Cadet Hayden N. Gotchkov. Cadet Kendall B. Hostetler. Cadet Hannah N. Nelson, Cadet Cadence M. Schachter, Cadet Carmen A. Taylor, Cadet Paige A. Turner, Cadet Odair A. Villalobos Arribas, Cadet Annabelle T. Wooten. Cadet Jackson C. Sohar. Cadet Dylan A. Wright. Here at Blackman High School, we're very restrictive on what you can wear at graduation. Only academic cords are allowed to be worn. This cord will be worn by all cadets at graduation this year. Give them a round of applause.
The next award is the Rutledge Memorial Scholarship. The Rutledge Memorial Scholarship in honor of Mike Rutledge, the father of one of our former cadet battalion commanders, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Grace Rutledge. It is a one-time gift of $1,000 paid to the recipient's institution of choice. This scholarship is given to a senior cadet who has a minimum GPA of 3.0, is pursuing higher education after high school, and demonstrates the seven Army values day in and day out. This cadet is selected by the senior Army instructor and the two Army instructors based on their observations throughout their time as a cadet in the Blaze Battalion. The scholarship today will be presented by Chief Hopper and First Sergeant Hart. This year's recipient of the Rutledge Memorial Scholarship is Paige A. Turner. The Rutherford County Schools JRTC Distinguished Leader Graduate. Graduating cadets are eligible to be awarded the Rutherford County JRTC Distinguished Leader Graduate Certificate, Stole, and other medallions. This, the criteria are extremely high and only the very best of the best will earn the right to wear this cord on graduation day. Cadets must complete all four years of JRTC, complete a minimum of 12 hours of service learning in their let four year, have not been penalized with ISS or OSS in the past three years, achieve an overall GPA of at least 3.5, and achieve a 4.0 GPA in all JRTC classes achieve at least a 22 on the ACT, hold the rank of Command Sergeant Major, Captain, or higher, participate in a minimum of one extracurricular JRTC activity in each of their last three years, serve as a team captain during their let three or let four year, attend JCLC summer camp, and score a minimum of 50 points in all Cadet Challenge Fitness events during their let four year. Will the following cadets please come forward at this time to receive your certificates from Mr. Smith and Chief Hopper. I will add that this award will be again presented at the Rutherford County School Board meeting next Thursday where they will receive their stoles, their medallions, and everything else. There are a total of eight recipients this year in Rutherford County, eight. Blackman High School has 50% of those. Just saying. First cadet. Cadence M. Schaffner. Paige A. Turner. Jackson C. Sohard. Odair A. Villalobos Rivas.
The next award is going to be presented by Vanderbilt University's Recruiting Officer from ROTC. Mr. Rogers, would you please come forward? School is very expensive, as you all know. We have a cadet in our midst that has accepted a full life scholarship through ROTC, and he will be attending Vanderbilt University next fall. Sir, I'm going to turn this over to you. I'd like the young man to be the <laughs> this scholarship is one of the hardest scholarships to achieve for high school seniors coming into college. This is a start of the beginning of the journey of becoming an Army officer. To get your degree, try to leave college with little to no debt. To avoid the L word. Loans. Something that I've seen with this particular scholarship winner is that it kind of reminds me about the fact that it takes a village to raise up the leaders, the future leaders of the Army. I would tell you that this particular scholarship winner is already a part of a solid squad. I'd like to call forward Jackson Soha. We'll wait for his parents. I, I also I also challenge each and every one of you as cadets. I've only been in Middle Tennessee since 2013. We're waiting. Ladies and gentlemen, we're waiting. I have as many checks as someone who makes up to Vanderbilt or Belmont or Lipscomb. So please. You all need to be in the picture. I do not need to be in the picture. <laughs> Presented today, and then we'll get on to some serious business, is the Honor Company for school year 2023-2024. All of our companies did a fantastic job throughout the year, but one just stood a little taller than the rest. The Honor Company for 2023-2024 school year is Bravo Company. Commander, EXO, First Sergeant, and your guide on bearer, post at the center of the stage.
Would all the cadets from Bravo Company please stand? Round of applause for Bravo Company. I just want to take this opportunity to thank all of our presenters today at this awards program. It would not be possible without your generous support of your respective organizations taking time out of your day to be here to celebrate with the Blaze Battalion in the extreme, extreme conditions that you have to endure here at Blackman High School. Because there's a lot of brain power out there. There's also a lot of brawn. And I just want to say thank you so much. You know, our missions are all kind of similar. We prepare our youth to be better citizens and keep the rich traditions of recognizing achievements in and out of the classroom. I can tell you, if you look out here into the audience, our future is bright. And when we all end up in the old folks' home, hopefully they'll all come and visit us at least once a year. So thank you very much to all of you. Thank you. It's going to get a little rowdy in here, so if you would like to stay, you're more than welcome to. If you have other engagements, I know some of you do, you have other presentations to make, you're more than welcome to depart at this time. But thank you again. Give them a round of applause. I don't think we're going to have time for any more stuff, so. Sir, you going to be okay? Okay. The Blaze JRTC cadre, that's your three instructors, would now like to announce the key leadership positions for school year 2024-2025, beginning with company commanders, executive officers, and first sergeants. When your name is announced, please come forward and stand in a line across the stage. Starting with Headquarters Company Commander, Cadet Captain Fatima Flores. <laughs> Headquarters Company XO, Executive Officer. Cadet First Lieutenant Laura V. Castro. <laughs> Headquarters Company First Sergeant Sanab A. Amasai. Moving on to Alpha Company. Your next Alpha Company commander will be 
Cadet Captain Darian Zong. <laughs> Alpha Company Executive Officer, Cadet First Lieutenant Gabriela S. Lopez. Alpha Company First Sergeant, Cadet First Sergeant Jose E. Gana Perez. You better learn to speak. <laughs> Moving on to Bravo Company. <laughs> Cadet Captain. James Papillon. <laughs> Bravo Company Executive Officer, Cadet First Lieutenant Joseph A. Hill. Bravo Company First Sergeant, <laughs> Cadet First Sergeant, Anna I. Vasquez. <laughs> Moving on to Charlie Company. This is going to be good. <laughs> Cadet Captain Wells Papillon. Charlie Company Executive Officer for 2024-2025, Cadet First Lieutenant Marshall R. McGinnis. <laughs> Charlie Company First Sergeant Christopher J. Maldonado. Delta Company, Company Commander, 2024-2025. Can I get a drum roll? We'll practice in a little while. Cadet Captain Riley A. Edgerton. Executive Officer for Delta Company, Cadet, First Lieutenant, William M. DePaul. Yes, you, young man. <laughs> and the Delta Company First Sergeant, will be Sarah M. Bowers. Does anybody need to take a break? No. 
Okay. Moving on to the teams. First team, Raider team. Your male team captain, Cadet Onyx or Fortnite. Captain Cadet Kaylin J. Rice. <laughs> the Blaze Rifles, our rifle team. For 2024, 2024, 2025, co-captains, Cadet Hudson R. McNeil and Cadet Ali K. Giroux. JROTC Leadership Academic Bowl Team. Captain Academic Team. Cadet Sebastian R. Smith. <laughs> Leadership Team Captain. Cadets Brody I. Warren. The Blaze Blades, the drone team. Parents, you see kind of the trend there? You know, Blaze Rifles, Blaze Blades, okay. Captains, co captains. Captain Joseph A. Hill. And Cadet Jameson C. Smith. Cadet Onyx R. Crickman. <laughs> Drill Team Executive Officer. Cadet Gwendolyn R. Hill. <laughs> Color Guard Executive Officer for 2024-2025 is Cadet Dylan C. Malani. Exhibition Team Captain, Cadet Hudson R. McNeil. And his Executive Officer, 
Cadet Johnny J. Sabaton Jr. Last but not least, our push-up squad captain, the one that brings it to all the football games. Cadet Captain Wells Populon. Good job. All right. Now for the announcement of the battalion staff. We're going to try this one more time. Drum roll, please. Bravo, help Delta. S1, Cadet Captain Valerie M. Woolworth. S1, Executive Officer, Cadet First Lieutenant Alexander G. Costales. Your S-1 NCO, Cadet Sergeant First Class, Sophia R. Commodore. <laughs> Moving on to the S-2 shop. S-2, Cadet Captain Robert S. Mosley. His executive officer, Cadet First Lieutenant L.A.A. Sugden Kundar. S1 NCO. I'm sorry, S2 NCO. Cadet Sergeant First Class Atticus Stanulus. S3, <laughs> Operations. Cadet Major Sheridan M. Balagoni. <laughs> S3, Executive Officer, Cadet Captain Hudson R. McNeil. S3, Sergeant Major. Cadet Sergeant Major, Onyx R. Crittenden. S3 NCO, Cadet Sergeant First Class, 
Fabiola P. Phenol. S4, Cadet Captain Raya A. Amarov. XO for the S4 shop, Cadet First Class Catherine M. Varla. S4 NCO, Cadet Sergeant First Class, Kyle T. Diebel. S5, Cadet Captain, Jared C. Garner. S5XO, Cadet Captain, First Lieutenant, Ali K. Giroux. <laughs> S5NCO, Cadet Sergeant First Class, Nicholas A. Cunningham. Cadet Captain D. Dylan C. Malavi. S6 Executive Officer, Cadet First Lieutenant Jameson C. Smith. S6 NCO, Cadet Sergeant First Class, Caitlin J. Rice. S7, Cadet Captain, Savannah L. Mejia. S7 Executive Officer, Cadet First Lieutenant, Catherine E. Wollington. In the S7 NCO for 2024-2025 is Cadet Sergeant First Class, Brody I. Warren. of the top three leadership positions for school year 2024-2025. Please come forward when your name is called. Your next battalion, Command Sergeant Major, is...
Cadet Command Sergeant Major Jessica P. Shook. The Battalion Executive Officer, the glue. Oh, Cadet Major Rosemeat D. Sandia. Your battalion commander for school year 2024-2025 is
Three non-commissioned officers wore it for more than 70 years during three major wars, the Mexican-American War, the Civil War, and the Spanish-American War. The passing of the sword signifies the relinquishment of responsibility and authority from the outgoing Command Sergeant Major to the ingoing Command Sergeant Major. Command Sergeant Majors may come and go, but the sword remains razor sharp. Chief Eric Hopper is now passing the sword to Cadet Command Sergeant Major Luis A. Benitez Artola, the outgoing Command Sergeant Major, and final deference of his authority and leadership. Cadet Command Sergeant Major Benitez Artola is passing the sword to First Sergeant Hart, signifying the relinquishment of his duties and gratitude for the opportunity to care for the cadets of the Blaze Battalion for the 2023-2024 school year. First Sergeant Hart is now passing the sword to Cadet Command Sergeant Major Jessica P. Shep, the incoming Command Sergeant Major, charging her with responsibility for the unit and as its new Command Sergeant Major. Battalion, parade, rest, rest. <laughs> now will we we will continue with our change of command ceremony battalion attention the change of command is the traditional event that is rich with symbolism and heritage. Symbolic of the change of command is the passing of the unit colors from the outgoing commander to the incom incoming commander. The history, traditions, and accomplishments of the organizations are embodied in their colors. With the transfer of the colors, the organization's legacy is passed as building blocks for future performance and achievements. Historically, the colors served as the point around which soldiers of the organization, organization rallied as they moved forward into battle. The colors have traditionally been at the side of the commander and were carried forward even when the commander fell. All others within the organization might perish, but the colors and spirit of the unit live on forever. By authority of the Blaze Battalion Senior Army Instructor, Colonel Jeffrey Lee Gaylord, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Gwendolyn R. Hill assumes command of the Blaze Battalion effective 11 April 2024. Command Sergeant Major Jessica P. Shupp is now passing the colors to the outgoing battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Cadence M. Schaffner. Lieutenant Colonel Schaffner is now passing the colors to Colonel Gaylord, signifying the relinquishing of her duties as battalion commander. Colonel Gaylord is now passing the colors to the incoming battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Gwendolyn R. Hill, charging her with the responsibility and care of the Blaze Battalion. Lieutenant Colonel Hill is now passing the colors back to Command Sergeant Major Shupp, symbolizing her commitment and dedication to the cadets in the battalion. Battalion, parade, rest, rest, take seats. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now hear remarks from our outgoing and incoming commanders, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Kate Schaffner and Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Gwendolyn Hill. Okay, hey guys. So, you guys know last year, we like to carry this little tradition. Um, none of them know they're gonna get picked. So, Gwen's gonna go up here and she's not gonna know what to say but it's very funny. And I also chose just to keep that because I thought it was cool just to be on the spot. Um, but just a few thanks as being a battalion commander. I want to thank my mom, my grandma who are here today. Without you guys, I don't know how I would have gotten to school or all the support I've gotten from you guys. I'd like to thank the instructors because they're like uncles, honestly, for those of you. We, I've spent hours in their offices talking about everything in my future and my career, and I really appreciate all they've done. And I'd really like to thank all the cadets. You guys are so amazing. And parents, for those of you guys who are still here, it is so great seeing your cadets get to grow. And it's amazing the relationships I get to see this season just grow and just become these great young men and women. And I can't wait to see what you guys do the rest of the year. I'm so proud of everyone you guys got a position and did. And I know that you guys are going to carry this battalion, and it's going to be amazing. So stay in touch, and I hope everything goes great. I will now pass it over to Gwen Hill. Hello everybody, I'm Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Gwendolyn Hill. So like she said, I don't have a speech prepared. 
Talk to this. Talk to the top of this. I don't have a speech prepared, but I'm so incredibly excited for what this next year will hold. Thank you for this opportunity, and I can't wait to see what God has in store for us. Last event for today. It'll be a tradition that we have here only at the Blaze Battalion. What you're about to observe are the former command team passing their cords to the new command team. Command team, pose. At the center of the stage, the former commander, executive officer, and command sergeant major are ready to honor the new command team with their cadet senior leader cords. First, command sergeant major Benitez Artola is placing the command sergeant major leadership cord on command sergeant major Jessica Shuck. Next, Major Turner is placing the Executive Officer Cord on Major Rosemi Sandia. And finally, Lieutenant Colonel Caden Schaffner is pinning the Battalion Commander Leadership Cord on Lieutenant Colonel Gwendolyn Hill. The Blaze Battalion transition of command is now complete and ready to continue the rich traditions of being the best battalion in the district, state, and nation. A final round of applause for our Corps of Cadets for a job well done. <laughs> Listen carefully about face. Exit stage. This has been a fantastic year for the Blaze Battalion. I can't say enough about you as cadets. It's been a distinct honor to be in your senior Army instructor. But it couldn't have been done by one person. I've got an incredible instructor team. We are all equals and we all work together. Chief Hopper, First Sergeant Hart, will you please come here with me? Give these gentlemen a round of applause. Also, beyond the classroom, beyond JRTC department, a special thanks goes out to Principal Justin Smith, the Blackman High School staff, and all the administrators who have helped us reach our lofty goals this year. Now we've got to set some new goals and we've got to keep on shooting for the sky. None of these accomplishments would be possible also without an extremely important group, and that is our school support organization and booster club. So give them a round of applause. And most important, thank you to the parents, guardians, and friends for entrusting your young people to us. We will not charge for free child care after today up until 3.30. After that, they're back on you. But seriously, thank you so much. In this day and age, it is so critical that we look after our youth and make sure we give them the tools so that they can go out and be amazing citizens. And I can say with a high degree of confidence 
We've got 214 amazing young citizens sitting in this auditorium today. So thank you, parents, guardians, and friends. Thank you so much. Last but not least, the Italian of Teach Hoof. My favorite part. <laughs>